promised you several air uh, pilots of this unique green wing electric airplane and now we've got a chance to talk to a man who's got a lot of background with electric airplanes. Welcome to Eric Lindbergh, a name you know and yes it's the same Lindbergh. <laughs> and uh, Eric you've been busy with electric airplanes for some time. You had an organization called LEAP and other things you do. Give us a little bit of your history if you will in electric aircraft. Sure, thanks Dan. I think um, five years ago I got very interested in the promise of electric aircraft. You know, just thinking safe, simple, cheap, renewable energy. We need all that stuff in aviation. We need it badly. We do. And I thought, what can I do to help accelerate the development of the industry? Because I'm not an engineer. You know, I know how to push the buttons and fly the planes, but um, I want to fly an electric aircraft. <laughs> so we, we, five years ago, we launched the Lindbergh Electric Aircraft Prize. And to date, we've awarded um, 10 Lindbergh prizes for electric aircraft, including one that was uh, quietest aircraft prize oh, yeah. at the NASA Green Flight Challenge. So, um, so that was one um, one big strong initiative to try to help jumpstart electric aviation. And then the other was the Electric Aircraft Development Alliance, helping form a, an industry group that um, would help facilitate the rules and regulations and safety and. Um, all those things that we're going to need to make this uh, industry a reality. And we hosted the electric aircraft symposiums here at AirVenture. Um, so, what's the punchline? A couple of months ago, I got to fly the E Spider, and it just blew me away. Um, well, before you go into that, and I do want you to do that, I want to give you some extra credit, Eric, for that work you did with the group of people, which was a disparate bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's putting it mildly. And so you were herding cats, as we sometimes say. And I think it took someone with your magnetic personality to kind of draw people together. I guess that's another pun in the electric world, isn't it? Uh, that it ended up resulting in ASTM writing a standard that has been successfully validated and now is sitting with FAA. So now we have a new need for your uh, abilities to maybe help free up the lubricating uh, the government wheels there a little bit. But that was a great thing you did, and I saw sat in on some of those symposiums where you brought people together. They subsequently coalesced into an ASTM committee, passed, developed, and passed a standard in about three years, I think it was. And really, that was pretty good for breaking all new ground. You know, I'm a stranger to the machinations of politics in a body like that, an, an organizing body, and it was painful for me to watch. I'm, I'm not good at paperwork, but I'm really optimistic that the FAA hopefully will take that and, and give us the, the what we need, really, because it was an oversight to leave electric aircraft They just didn't foresee the future, that's exactly. all. Exactly. Right? And they, so, you know, given that they're... Um, they're making great allowances for other LSA aircraft. Right. I'm very optimistic that the FAA will allow electric light sport aircraft so that we can start to realize the dream. What we heard here this week at this show gives me hope that there may be an exemption for electric because we've got an administration in government right now that wants electric. I don't know of anybody that really resists. They just have the problem of not having seen this coming. Yeah. And yeah. now they've got to fix that somehow, and the exemption process may be a way. But that's that's government stuff, and that's kind of boring and dull. <laughs> Almost as high up there in the dull factor as ASTM standards. But anyway, thanks for your work to help stimulate those guys. We we'll look forward to more of that. Let's go back to some fun stuff now. You wrote, you had, you made a little video yourself, and it was pretty fun for me to watch because you talked about not having ever been in an ultralight before. Well, I'll tell let's you just what. put it in your own words. Tell me what you thought about that, Eric. You know, I, I finally got my chance to fly an electric aircraft, the E-Spider, and um, it was thrilling and it freaked me out. <laughs> All I, at know, the same time. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it, as a pilot, you're trained to stay alive, right? right. You, everything's about stall speeds and landing at the airport every time. And if you don't, you fly through the crash as far as you can. And, you know, you get that drilled into you. And as a flight instructor, I, you know, I had to teach people how to do that. So what was really nerve-wracking about flying an ultralight for the first time was that I flew this single-seater, and I'd right. always had no 
an instructor sitting next to me on my first flight in a new aircraft telling me what to do and on the controls, etc. So that was a little nerve-wracking, but I spent a lot of time, you know, in briefings and talking about it and looking at the instrumentation and so forth. Um, and, I, and then I took off and was like, boom, wow! <laughs> I mean, an ultralight feels different. It does. It's still an airplane and it still flies. It does and all the same things, but it's it, so light. And, and I was planning on, it's a huge long runway at Cable Airport. I was planning on putting it back down on the runway and then going back around and then doing a, a turn around the patch. Only I just didn't quite feel comfortable. I'm like, uh, okay, I can fly it, but can I land it? <laughs> So, so I just think about it for a So I just kept going and I you know I'm working the rudders and I'm working the ailerons and I'm working the throttle and and I went around the patch and then I did it again and then I felt comfortable and landed and the landing was great. So it just was that just had to shake off those jitters a little bit. That's first, yeah. right. So but let's talk about a little bit about okay, that's that's sort of about the airplane and the control system and so forth. Now you got this electric motor up there whirring away and sort of whining in its own soft manner. You know, I experienced it too and it's almost hard to describe. But let me hear your try at it. I think electric flight is the future of aviation. Electric propulsion. And and one of the you know if I, if you think again about the threats to general aviation, it's noise, shutting down our airports, it's fuel burn, it's expensive, it's putting out carbon at altitude, it's it, um, and it's it's complex. Not everyone can do it because you can't figure out the pitch on the props and the mixture controls and so forth that keep you safe. But with electric, it's simple. That makes it safe. It's it's smooth and it's quiet, and you could fly this and not make your neighbors upset. So you could fly it closer to home. I think that that there's a real potential to revitalize aviation, and it's represented in the sort of the crest of a wave that is right here. Um, you got an airplane right now that works today on sale today that you can buy today, and you can go have fun with. Absolutely, and soon we'll have two seaters and four seaters. It's coming. It will fall. A lot of people working on it. We this need this one's here now. It's here now. Well, thanks a lot for telling us all your mood about flying in the airplane and your work within the industry, Eric. You do a lot of other things as well. Where can we go find some more about your pursuits in and out of aviation? <laughs> well, you can go to www.lindberggallery.com. I've got my sculptures up there and aviation stuff in my blog. So that should cover it all. That should do uh, it. My passion. And to get more information about this airplane and the ones the airplanes to follow that Eric referenced, go to greenwing.aero. And for more information about all these little light airplanes, including this one, go to bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at AirVenture Oxford.